Hey everyone, it's Sam Kai here from Enterprise DNA. I want to break down some budgeting analysis uh, here, or how you can represent some budgeting analysis really effectively inside of Power BI. Now, this is a bit of a breakout session from a recent uh, learning summit that uh, was put on by Enterprise DNA. Uh, and I'm going to get quite specific in this one, okay? Because this was a much longer session um, that uh, is now uh, located at Enterprise DNA Online. Um, but there's some interesting, an interesting uh, way to showcase information here that I really want to drill into that I think I've, I've seen requested quite a bit. Um, I've been asked to do it in some um, client engagements, etc. So I thought that um, just showcasing a bit about how, how it comes together, I think, would be really benefit those who, who are working on some budgeting analysis or, or even doing any sort of segmentation type work where you want to represent a result broken down into say a specific group or you want to segment your results into a specific group. Now in this particular case we're going to really focus on budgeting results. Now a lot of times when you get uh, budgeting information you might you might you can you can easily get to a place where you work out in most cases um, especially if you utilize a lot of the content and, and resources I've already put out there on enterprise DNA TV around budgeting you can always get to a point you can get to a point where you where you can work out your sales versus your budgets right and so you can quickly see okay well who who are performing well versus budget versus who aren't okay but when you want to maybe look at things say spatially like we have here uh, or we want to see okay well, who are these best performers and who are these worst performers and then to sort of see a breakdown of those number of uh, say stores that you have or, or cities that you're selling through right so it just this, this technique that I'm going to show you this grouping technique allows you to break out those results and showcase them more effectively right instead of just having um, you know all one color here and seeing the difference between sales and budgets what we can do is we can actually showcase okay well who are our good performers versus budget who are our okay performers versus budget and who are our worst performers and we can very quickly dive in and see okay well is there any clusters here of um, performers versus budget and we can really um, you know, be able to visually see it's so much better for the consumer visually see where those results are, are, are coming from and what we can also do is uh, if we set this up right is we can actually drill into these uh, customers a lot better so uh, if you just had everything if you didn't group these performances or you didn't group these stores based on their performance you, you would find it very hard to say okay let's go and have a look, look at our best performance click into best performance and then really drill into your best performance like that this is what segmentation and grouping techniques inside of Power BI uh, enable for you, okay? So I've created a bit of a demo page here. We'll just go over it, um, and I'm going to explain the, the formula, okay? So this is a bit of a deep dive into the formula technique, and also actually a little bit of modeling as well, okay? So what I wanted to do is I wanted to work out, I wanted to group my, uh, my cities, my cities here, based on how they performed versus budget, in the prior year. So I've already done those budgeting calculations. I'm not going to cover that here because I've covered that um, many other times. Uh, so check out some of the other budgeting uh, content out there on Enterprise DNA TV. Just type it into the search bar. You'll, you'll find it pretty quick. I want to then, after we've calculated that, I wanted to group my cities into their buckets right now the first thing that we needed to do was we needed to set up a table in our model which allows us to group like this okay so this this table here as i've called it's down here called budget groups okay so it's not connected to my model at all so it's i reference i call these supporting tables it's not part of my core model it's just a table that's going to support my calculations okay or and also enable me to create different visualizations that I ordinarily wouldn't be able to create within here okay now then I come back um, to here I'll show you the actual table so this is the actual table here so you see here that I've said okay my best performers are the ones that increase from whatever time frame I select um, you know, versus their budget uh, the I think previous year is how I've, how I've rolled with it 40 percent and above okay performers are zero to 40 percent growth and worst performers are basically no growth going backwards right okay so I've got these percentages here then what I need to do is I need to set up a formula which allows me to work through that particular table okay and this is it okay so let's go through this really really slowly um, because it's such a key 
technique to understand around how to group these. Now, first of all, I've used a variable here, okay? And I, you could easily put this, you could easily put this in here, but I just like to, I like using variables. I reckon they're um, just a much cleaner way to write things and name things, etc. So all I've done is I've created a, uh, this is, uh, we can create a virtual table um, here of region city name because we're, we're going to want to know whatever table we are uh, whatever city we are in the current context and what this is going to enable us to do is work that out okay so I using calculate I ultimately want to show the total sales of these cities right but I want to show it based on I want to be able to show it based on the group that they are in okay so then what I do is we then need to go and iterate through each different city okay now this is this does it for us but you've got to remember that this will actually only evaluate to one city because if we look at this table the context from this particular city name here will always exist at each different row here so that variable will always just be one city name okay whatever the context is in that particular row so what we're going to do is for that particular city, we're then going to work our way through the budget groups table, which I just showed you, and then work out is the sales versus budget percentage greater than the min, so that was the 40%, the 0%, and the, the no growth uh, percent, and is it less than or equal to the max of that particular table. Okay, so I haven't shown you this formula here, um, because but this the technique is the key here because you could actually input a variety of things in here. This is just the technique around how to then group this particular um, this particular by, by this particular result, okay, and to do it dynamically because remember these dynamically calculate whatever time selection you you create. Okay, so for every single so once if if this evaluates too true then that is the group with which this um, city will be placed into and then it's going to return the total sales okay and then if we have a look at this table because i always recommend putting things into tables to really understand how things are calculated if you just look at things like in a map it's very difficult to understand these more advanced uh, functions in dax right and so at every single context here we're say filtering on this particular city we're then having a look at is the sales versus last year percentage growth for this particular city is it within those with one of those ranges in that budget groups table and if it is then uh, tell me what performance group uh, it actually is, okay? And so you'll see here that this is in the okay group, this is in the worst, the city was in that worst group, uh, and we've got, say, a uh, best performer over here, and then we're seeing the sales uh, for that particular uh, city as well. Okay, so let's just, so do it just this. This is the key formula. Okay, this is this is what I wanted to cover. This was just a breakout session of a of a much larger session where I did obviously cover some of the budgeting things, but I wanted to show you how you can create this visually appealing or this like much more compelling visual where you're not just seeing all the same colors here. You're actually seeing a breakdown. Okay, well, who were my best? Who were the best versus budget? Who are the okay's and who were the worst performers versus budget? And then also be able to then dynamically drill into you know these performers and say okay well these are our worst performers okay well where are the clusters of these and why are these and um and within this particular resource there's actually a lot more detail around you know what is the difference and the percentage difference etc etc so for example if, if let's just have a quick look over here if i went best performers you're going to see you'll see here that these are all the best performers and you'll see here that this is the budget group um, percentage difference so this is the percentage difference between sales and then sales last year and you'll see here these are all larger numbers right all all above 40 percent so that's why they are in that particular group and we can see here okay well these are the total sales that they made and the, here were the the difference so the difference the actual absolute difference so a lot of a lot of additional color in here that can be um you know found by you know setting things up like this and be able to dynamically click around and discover okay here are okay performance dive into those particular cities you know what were the actual differences so on and so forth so really powerful stuff you can actually have a look at this uh, resource from the enterprise dna showcase page so if you want to um, check that out there's a link below in the description um, and you can have a play around with this model and um, you know, see see some of the interesting things that it not only shows in this particular page but also um, there's some prediction work some financial information um, 
Um, and so this was all part of a, a much wider, a much larger learning summit, which uh, that w- which Enterprise DNA runs every quarter. So, so certainly, um, certainly a resource to check out at the showcase page. And then uh, don't forget these learning summits that uh, come up uh, come around every quarter almost. Um, you know, a lot you can learn during these particular particular events. Okay, all the best. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Got a lot of out. Of, got a lot of out, out of the uh, more sort of deep dive into the into DAX formulas. Um, a lot of great stuff that you can do with segment uh, segmentation techniques and grouping techniques. So highly recommend diving into those. Okay, all the best, and look forward to talking to you soon.